Welcome to Sport Eagle TV's Basketball Insiders, courtside at the Audi Dome with two-time Lithuanian Basketball Player of the Year, Linus Kleiser. Linus, first of all, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, thank you. Nice being here. Now, um, let's talk about your first year here with um, Emporio Armani Milano. They they barely missed out on the on the uh, top four, or the final four for the for the Euroleague. What's the outlook now for the team, both in the league as well as um, in the Italian league? Uh, we're still a new team. We, we're trying to come together. We have a very tough group, uh, probably the toughest group I've ever seen. Uh, you know, so we got we got to do it quick. Uh, we, we have a couple losses, but we, uh, we're still trying to build a team, trying to find each other. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a process, but uh, the process, we don't have time for it. And, you know, we, we got to do it quickly. Now, you've had a career playing both in the U.S. and NBA, also in college basketball before that. How much did your your youth playing, um, uh, going to school in the United States, playing for the Lithuanian jun junior national team, how much did that help you prepare for the rigors and the pressures of playing both internationally and uh, in the NBA? Uh, everything prepares. Uh, you know, I had I had a lot of fun playing for my national team. I take a lot of pride for it. Did it for for many many years since I was a little kid. You know, we have a, a lot of national teams, different ages. So you know, I played my all my summers, <clears throat> and uh, playing in uh, in the United States, going to college, maybe just gave, gave me a better perspective on life, on uh, on school, on everything outside of basketball. I think it's a it's a big plus to to widen your horizons and understanding. So that 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 was good, and uh, and basketball wise, you know, is uh, I took uh, took the best of uh, both schools. Now, I'm a Big 12 guy myself. Uh, Missouri no longer playing in the Big 12, but I went to the University of Texas. Um, do you get a chance to go back to Missouri? Do they invite you back? I know the basketball season runs at the same time. Do you see yourself going back, and do you have contact with the, with the school? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I still have uh, contact. You know, all the people left that uh, when I was there, you know, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's totally different. But... Uh, um, you know, it's very hard for me to go back, especially if the seasons and, you know, I'm in a, in a different part of the world when the season ends. So, uh, actually, you know, I haven't been back in a very long time. Now, one of the things that I did see when I was covering uh, the Eurobasket for Lithuania, um, I saw that there were legends walking around, especially Arvidas Sabonis. How much of an influence do they have on the team? He's not the coach, but he's obviously a legend in your country. How much of an influence does he have and, and the legends have for you guys when you're wearing your team colors? I mean, they had a, a lot of influence. They 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 build the basketball up. You know, that's that's who we're following, growing up, and that's why we take such a pride playing for a national team. Because you know, a national team is number one for us, and it's always been to represent your country uh, in the best way you can. That's why a lot of players sacrifice the summers and their health and and do do what they do. So. You know, we always have a great respect and uh, for the guys who were there before, and you know, hopefully the youngsters will have respect for us. You know, so we keep building on on what we did and uh, what a what a great tradition we have for for basketball and made everybody else respect it. What are your plans for Eurobasket uh, Eurobasket 2015? You plan to come back? Uh, you know, it's very early, very early to say. Uh, of course, I want to play and. You know, I want to finally win gold, uh, but you know, it's, it's a very long season, and uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, and hopefully, just just the main thing, staying healthy. But uh, you know, the the main thing is try to try to win that gold finally. Yeah, winning silver in 2013 in Slovenia. Final question: The NBA season just uh, tipped off. You've had an NBA career. Do you see yourself? First of all, do you follow any of the teams back uh, back home? Do you any favorite team still? Uh, no, I really don't don't don't, don't follow any uh, any teams. Uh, you know, I look at the score sometimes, but uh, I don't I don't follow. Did you see yourself going back, or do you see yourself? I know it's a long way before your career is over, but do you see yourself ending your career maybe back in Lithuania, pay, pay me for Zalgiris? Uh Yeah, you know that would be a dream come true. I always uh, wanted to do that. You know, Zalgiris has been my number one team right. for <laughs> for a very long time, so I think it will happen. It, it will happen sooner than later. So, Dinis Kleiser of Lithuania, but now with Emporia Armani Milano playing in the Euroleague. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Thank you.